You know I'll own it if I said that you did that. I have never said that you've done ketamine. Whitney, I don't believe that you'll own the things you say. Because we left New York, I thought we were in a neutral, peaceful zone, and the next thing I'm seeing is that I'm like dirty and gross because and creepy because I take baths. That was a funny joke, Meredith. No, it was a dig on my marriage and a dig on my bathtub. That's not a like, dig I, like on I have a that. dirty house. I would never assume that Meredith has a dirty house. I don't even know where you're living right now. I don't know what vacation rental you're staying in. I'd assume she'd wrap everything in plastic so that she gets her deposit back at the end of the lease. My bathtub is clean. Maybe yours isn't. Mine is very clean. Okay. Meredith, I take baths all the time, but I prefer to take my baths alone, which is true. Like, why are you judging me for wanting to take a bath alone? It is my right to prefer to take a bathtub alone. It wasn't about her and Seth. It's about the fact that they sit in a tub to clean, like that is creepy to me. I don't like to bathe with people, that's a shady joke. It really irritates me that Whitney can be like, oh, I was just being shady. So now you can take whatever you want, twist it to benefit you so you don't have to take accountability. Okay, got it. Like did I make shitty myself. jokes when you got yeah, naked you you with your husband painting each other and said, oh, I wonder if she's getting bacteria in her vagina. <laughs> I've known yeah, it for we a go, long time. We go way back. I had no clue. Like, then when she told me she was meeting you, I'm like, oh my gosh, I never see Monica because I, I know. would talk to you occasionally on the phone. And in like passing a couple yeah. times. I would talk to Lisa constantly because Jen would get sick and tired of talking to her and she would hand me the phone and then I'd have to be like, yeah, girl, I know. You know, like, I love culture. Like, I grew up in New York, so. I know, I know. Do you want to know something, what I'm obsessed with right now? Anything maritime. All the time. I like yachting, so yeah. I'm like. You can literally be on the phone with her and set it down and two hours later, come back. I like to be on, like, super yachts. And she's still going. I have the birthday book, too. I'll bring it next time we hang out. I've never talked to anyone like that in my life. This is actually delicious. Okay. It's so good. I'm going to teach Lisa how to cook some little homemade meals this year. Are you year. sure? Are you yes. sure you want to try? I'm going to try. I'm going to yeah. do my best. Uh, I've never even love. made eggs. No. Like, Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Never in my life have I made eggs. Lisa. Does John cook? John's an amazing cook. That's a privilege. I have to cook. I'm gonna so you're lucky. Cook. You know, the nice thing with John is we've been married 19 years. We're going on 20 this year. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. What are you going to do Wow. for your big 2-0? We're going to Europe. We got a sick house in Braga. It's so modern, you would die. It is so crazy hearing them portray these perfect lives. Thanks for introducing yes, us. I know. I'm like, I've always known Monica, but now I know Monica. Yeah. We've all heard things about each other, thanks to Jen. So I'm trying to walk like this fine line of being open-minded and non-judgmental, even though all their dark secrets are very heavy on my mind.